Tony Pukele took office in 2019. El Salvador was one of the most dangerous countries in the world. Gangland violence had taken some 120,000 civilian lives over the past three decades, creating an atmosphere of fear and instability that affected everyday life and economic activities. This dire situation motivated Bukele's government to launch a crackdown. During his first five-year term, the government imprisoned nearly 100,000 suspected gang members, accounting for 1.6 percent of the country's population. And that's led to a sharp decline in nationwide murder rates. The safety we have is important because economy, tourism, health, education, everything depends on it. Nowadays children walk to school on their own without their parents, knowing they will return safely and that they won't be kidnapped by gangs. With gang violence under control, Bukele is now turning his attention to the economy, which he describes as the next illness needing a cure. In this new treatment to heal the economy, perhaps we will also have to take bitter medicine. Just as the sick person who was cured of cancer now wants to be cured of his heart. The country has already been cured of gangs and now wants to be cured of the bad economy. The IMF projects El Salvador's economy to grow just 1.9 percent this year, down from 2.5 percent when Bukele took office. The essential food basket per family in urban areas cost $257 in December 2023. That's equivalent to three quarters of the monthly minimum wage. Public debt, meanwhile, continued to surge on Bukele's tenure to more than $30 billion. The figure accounted for 84 percent of the country's gross domestic product. In 2021, Bukele surprised the world by adopting Bitcoin as a legal tender as part of efforts to boost investment tourism and economic development. His new Arias party now controls 90 percent of the seats in the new Congress, giving him greater influence over legislative decisions to enact even more radical reforms. But as economic worries overtake safety concerns, a further deterioration in economic outlook could end his extended honeymoon with voters. Amar Bakololu, TRT World.